Holly here with Let's Go Now Adventures, and thanks for joining me today. You know, if you're new to our channel, we're all about helping you have a great camping experience. You know, we put out some tips and tricks about all things camping. And so whether you tent camp or RV camp, our hope is to just make everything a little bit easier. So today I'm gonna make some make ahead breakfast burritos that are a hit, especially when you're up camping because all the work is already done. You just need to pull them out of the cooler and either pop them into the coals or on your grill and you have yourself a nice warm breakfast. You know, it's all about doing the prep work at home while you're at home so you can just enjoy camping. Plus, cleanup is a snap. Now, there's a million ways to make these fun breakfast burritos, and so today, I'm going to put a little Southwest flair on mine today. But if that's not your flavor, you can pretty much add whatever you like. I've got a couple tips that I'll pass on to you as I make my breakfast burritos that will help you make your burritos the best. So, let's get started. First of all, you'll want to start with the 12 inch large flour tortillas. You know, this size is great because you can add enough feeling, feeling, <laughs> and yet you can still get it closed tightly. One tip is to start with your tortillas at room temperature. By doing this, it will help ensure that they don't crack when you go to fold them. Now, I'm going to be making six breakfast burritos today, so I figure it's about two eggs per burritos. So I'm going to crack up a dozen eggs and put a little bit of milk in here to make them light and fluffy. Now I'm going to add some taco seasoning. Now I know that sounds funny, but oh, it makes your egg mixture so good. I'm also now going to add a little bit of green onion some hash browns and then some drained green chilies. Going to mix it up real good and now I'm ready to go over and cook it. Now I've also pre-cooked some sausage so after I get my scrambled egg mixture all cooked We'll go ahead and add in the sausage and kind of just fold it in and then we'll be ready to make our burritos. So going over to cook them and I'll be right back. Now, one thing to remember is when you're adding in all your ingredients is to try to add ingredients that aren't too wet. So take for example, the green chilies. I made sure that I drained them because you don't want your mixture to be too wet because it'll make the tortilla soggy. Now I really like tomatoes in my mixture but I have found in the past that it just makes the tortillas just a little bit too soggy. So it's better to save some of those ingredients and use them more of a topping at the end. And once again, you can play around with different ingredients and make it just so that it's perfect to what you like. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper and then we are ready to fill up our tortillas. Now the most important step, let your egg mixture cool for about 10 to 15 minutes because by letting your eggs cool down, this will help make for less moisture when you go to roll up your burrito and less moisture will help your burritos not go so soggy. Okay, now that my mixture is cool, we're gonna go ahead and add a base layer of cheese to our tortilla to start with. And now we'll add a little bit of our mixture. Now one thing to remember is you don't want to overfill your burrito. It will just make for a big mess and they don't roll up tightly. Because the beauty of a well-made burrito is that all the filling stays inside. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'll show you how I fold my burritos. So you've got the filling right here. We're gonna fold over the top and then just kind of squish it in with our fingers and then fold over each side and then roll. 
simple and easy. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the other five burritos and we'll be ready to wrap them in our aluminum foil. Okay, so now that our burritos are already rolled, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them in a double layer of a heavy duty aluminum foil. This will help so if we're cooking them in the cold or on the grill, it will help keep it so they don't burn quite as easy. So I'm going to wrap all of my burritos in the aluminum foil. I'll just wrap one for now. And then we're going to take a gallon size freezer bag and go ahead and line our burritos in there, single layer, and then they are ready to freeze. You can also just refrigerate these if you're headed up camping in the next day or two, but I find it so easy to just pop them in the freezer. Now, you will want to get them into the freezer if you're going to freeze them immediately because this will make for less time for the filling to steam the tortilla and soften it before you go to store it. Now, when you're ready to cook them, just pull them out of your cooler and you're ready to reheat them. Now, everything's already been cooked, so basically you're just reheating the breakfast burritos. I have found that if you're putting them in the coals, it's about 10 to 15 minutes, turning them probably every two to three minutes to make sure that they don't burn, or pretty much the same on the grill. What happens is the tortilla gets a nice golden brown, and it's so nice to sit down to a hot breakfast. And like I said before, after you get them all cooked, you can add some of the fun things like sour cream or salsa or even some avocados. All these toppings can be so fun for this Southwest flair of a burrito. What are your favorite things that you would put in your burrito? You know, there's just so many options. You should be able to please pretty much everyone. So give these a try and let us know how they work out for you. Happy camping and I'll see you on the next adventure.